Um, as in all fun programs, there is a strong social component. So it is not unusual for a country to have a floor. And floor means you cannot spend any less than such an amount. Um, in the case of Suriname, as Mr. Bivilakwa mentioned, there is progress in the right direction. If before, 1.5% of GDP was spent on social programs, uh, it, there was movement to 2.5%, and we would like to see more than 3% uh, spent on social program, in percent of GDP. Why is that important? When uh, economic adjustment is made, and when policies are taken to remove uh, subsidies on fuel, electricity, water, gas, it is important to counterbalance it with adequate social protection. So th for the people who are poor and vulnerable, this sort of expenditures, uh, once they lose the subsidy, in particular on, oil, on, on gas and electricity, it's important to count counterbalance it. Uh, it's not just a moral thing to do, it's the right thing to do for sustainability of adjustment, for social cohesion, and these are also the people that spend the most. So as far as stimulating economic activity, we call it multipliers, but that means when you give uh, $1 to a poor person, that person will spend it right away and it will co come back to, to the economy. Um, are we 100% satisfied with social program? We're not yet at that stage. It's difficult to roll it out. We spoke with the Minister of Social Affairs before especially reaching the interior uh, regions of the country to get people to accept uh, the, the money cartas, people who are not used to that kind of system, who prefer to have cash, who don't necessarily have bank accounts, who don't necessarily have easy access to ATM machines. So it is challenging. Can this be resolved? Yes, it can be resolved. Uh, in many countries in the world, uh, there is uh, telephone banking, money wallets, there are ways to do it and the technology could, could help. Um, so there is movement, uh, movement in the right direction, also in, um, in transparency of that spending. One of the structural benchmarks that was for this review and which was successfully met was uh, the publication by the Ministry of Social Affairs on its website, uh, district by district, how much is spent, the number of beneficiaries, so you can check on the progress. And it also mentions the eligibility criteria. So a person from any district in the country can look and say, okay, why am I not receiving the money? My income is below this. How can I apply? Because we also want to get as many as people that are eligible as possible into the safety net. So the transparency of the spending, the accountability of the government for the money that is spent, should be there, and I'm very happy that the structural benchmark was met uh, for, for this review. Um, and also, it's important that the money is spent wisely, and only those that need it actually get it, so that there is no abuse, that there is no corruption in the ex execution of this program. Um, we have other entities, other IFIs that are helping uh, Suriname in this regard, the International Labor Organization and International Development Bank. They have done a study, a thorough assessment of the social program. They have some recommendations. Uh, we have a structural benchmark on the publication of a strategy plan. And the strategy plan has to be written by the Surinamese authorities, not by the IFIs themselves. They can take on board the recommendations of the knowledgeable entities, but they have to make it their own, adapted to the Suriname contest so that in the future there could be even better efficiency and effectiveness in, in social protection. Thank you for your uh, explanation. So what do you mean to say is after two and a half years now we need to start with a program or with a, a study? Is that what you're saying? The program, the social program, is already in place. Mm -hmm. But how do you improve it? How do you make it more efficient? What are some uh, drawbacks of, of, of that? How can, you, how can you be better? That's what this strategy is supposed to do. Now, the strategy has been delayed for some time. And, and we are very, um, we're pushing as much as possible uh, for the government to, to have this social protection strategy plan. But it doesn't mean that nothing is being done in the meantime.